everyone welcome to job skills share this is a real world scenario video where in a company when you work it's not only desktops it's not only laptops windows stuff it's also mac related ipads and other stuff so um, as you know a lot of people in your company will be using ipads um, because some people love it so your company managers or uh, anyone um, budgeting managers or whoever they will buy this stuff for them because then they want to work on it right so what it does to you why is it important to you as a help desk or as an IT entry level IT um, support technicians uh, you also need to know basic troubleshooting skills on these things you don't need to be an expert because uh, you can they can definitely if there's something really bad going on uh, they will have a warranty for enterprise technicians I mean remember our teachings are uh, towards uh, for you to get an IT job not uh, to get a, a job in a repair shop which is not bad if that's what you want to do but this is not what we're focusing on so the other thing you want to just you just want to know the basic stuff and what kind of calls will you get like we call it ticket you know remember every time we refer to a problem we'll call it ticket because that's what we did a course on right so you will get a ticket uh, in an email or they will call hey there's an update available on my uh, iPad can you do the update for me and then you will say yes we can do the update please bring it to our office or whatever or however your procedure is but to do the update it's pretty simple you go to settings and in settings you click on this general tab and on the top you guys see right here update okay then you'll get the update here make sure you read about it uh, download and install will take care of it but something that you need to know is you make sure you have a lot of battery left because it's a big file you can see 771 MB and you should have a good connection because that's going to take a lot of time if you have a slow connection to just download it so you're gonna have some issues so make sure you you do this now other thing that I would suggest to you guys that if it's a power user like this is basically a user who has everything in this iPad this his life his work is in there okay so you gotta make sure to back it up back up back up back up because that's going to save you big time you don't want to just go in there and just download click install and bam you're done well most of the time it'll work but that one time if it goes down and you don't have a backup then we have a problem and I'm not gonna go through that because this is just a basic video that I want to show you guys if there's issues uh, sometimes what happens is that some people will call they're having issue with the browser so let's say they go to Safari uh, that's one of my videos make sure uh, why it's important to subscribe make sure you guys click on this little arrow and subscribe because that's where you get all the videos right okay so let's say they're having issue with a uh, portal.office.com so I want to type portal and say poor tool dot office All right, so let's say they click on portal.office.com and they're trying to sign into this portal.office.com. Now, let's say they put an email, they put a password, they put a wrong password, and now it's cached in there for some reason and it's keep messing it up. They're outside, they're somewhere else. They call you, my portal, I can't get into my portal and my um, uh, password is keep locking out. Please help me out. So that's another call for you guys. So you just need to tell them what to do. Let's say it is cached. What do you do? You just go to settings. And in here you will see Safari. You click on Safari. And here you will see uh, portal auto, uh, password autofill has already did that. So you are going to come down and do this right here. Clear history and website data. And when you do that. It will remove cookies and browsing data and stuff like that. You're going to say clear. Once you do that, this should fix the issue. When you when they go back, they put the password again, the right one, and that should fix the issue. You don't need to do anything else. But that was just one example of Safari, but other apps has the same thing, you know. You guys can basically come to different apps if you have downloaded it 
and uh, do some kind of things you know let's say for example you want to make sure your bank of america or whatever bank you're using um all that stuff so you can see you can come back here and play around with these settings some of the apps will have like clear cash cookies stuff like that some of the some of them will have something like this so uh it's up to you guys but it's pretty simple you know there's not really much to it the other uh question people will um bring up with with these type of um devices is the app store you know app store you how do you download an application so you know for um for apple it's app store and i think for uh android devices play i think it's play something but yeah so you just click on app store and then you will see the app store will open up and then you will just search for the app that they're looking for and then they will download it they will need their um apple id which is whatever username they register and the password to get the apps so then you can uh, have all these apps right here most of the people will you know if they're having a portal that office they will look for for anything office related apps so office i'm just going to type office and search so if they have office 365 definitely they're going to need an app to uh download on some these are all the apps and you see right here if you click on get that's going to get you guys uh the username and password uh, prompt and then you can get those apps um and other questions are basically related to apps itself like you know if you click on it when you download the app same thing it's gonna go to that setting area and that's where you can clear cache and things so sometimes what happen the same thing if somebody put a wrong password in a word login or Excel login then they will get these errors and stuff like that so to just do a quick reset this is what you do you just go back and do the same thing in settings so the main area in this I think in uh, for you guys as a help us guys you just need to work on this area not too much uh, you're not a user so you're not too more worried about the, the app you don't need to teach people how to use words stuff like that just the basic stuff but you don't need to be an expert in it uh, because you know this is not what you're getting this is not what you're getting tested on all the time this is basically you're getting some very uh, small calls now if your company is very very heavily using all these two uh, devices let's say company is not using laptops or desktop and this is their main source of um, doing work then yes of course they're going to look for someone who is more um, uh, good with these devices and it's pretty much not to i mean you can learn this in in probably in a week i would say it's, it's up to you guys however you guys learn but um, there's not much to it it's pretty simple uh, like I said, you just need to know the main things like about uh, uh, how to reset this, how to take a backup. And in the next videos, which is going to get more advanced, I'm going to show you guys how to control these devices through uh, one central location. So that will be another video for you guys. But this is just a basic video to show you guys some basic stuff. So it's not for normal user also, they can use this um, uh, troubleshooting skills to get away with some of the basic calls and that will also help their IT departments not create some of the calls that we don't want I mean we do want it's all right okay see you guys in a different video thank you